Hey guys and girls, welcome back. We're in the big shop today doing some welding. Maddie has just snuck in the door. If you can hear her there, the sparks are going to fly. Line as creep while you and me repeat This bittersweet heat is suffocating I'm waiting and always hesitating Kryptonite desire set my heart afire Heart on fire Set my heart afire Suffocating, I'm waiting and always hesitating. Kryptonite desire set my heart afire. Guys, girls, I hope you're enjoying this episode of Root Beer and Klondike Fly, Sparks Flying. I am showing you here the gearbox mount that I am making. Actually, it's gearbox mounts, plural. There's two, one on either side for root beer to uh, bolt and or tack weld onto her new chassis. Now, I got this idea from um from klondike because they share the same same motor and or same gearbox and transfer case their rc four-wheel drive um, i believe it's ax10 and a hammer transfer case um, so both vehicles have it so and i just happened to notice that actually but so i am i made root beers gearbox mounts to match what is in Klondike only I did make a little mistake which I will explain here in a few minutes it is made out of however one inch by half inch rectangular tube steel with a one eighth wall and as you noticed in the comments they have three and four millimeter holes and the three mil are tapped so after years of experience I have perfected the chassis. <laughs> okay, it's not a chassis yet, but it is a frame, at least a partial one. Okay, um, this is going to be... Oh, hello, shop assistant. Maddie is in the, in the shop. Yay. Okay, we got to turn the camera so Maddie can say hello to everybody. Where is she? There she is. There's our Maddie girl. Hey yeah 
we had to turn the camera so that everybody could could see and say hello to Maddie because everybody likes to say hello to Maddie. And she likes to say hello to everybody, don't you, girl? Yeah. Yes. Yes, you do. Oh, don't choke. You choke on something. Yeah, don't choke. Okay. So she has to have her time, guys. You can't ignore her. Stay in your yard, Maddie. I can't ignore her. She's a young, young dog, and you just can't ignore her, you know? Um, there, we're going we're gonna to keep her in the shop while I'm doing this filming. Uh, she is off-leash, and she can literally go run out to Highway 3 if she wanted to. However, she's well-behaved and never goes off of her front yard very often. Um, she has done... Because she likes the high school kids that walk by every day. She likes to go visit them. Of course, she likes to visit everybody. However, back to the frame. Now, so this is Root Beer's new frame. Okay? So, it has what we call double compound curves in it. Okay? Number one, there's an S curve right here however shallow actually it's on all four corners there is an s curve there is also an s curve so yeah that's what i did not like about the old half inch c channel frame i used to make now first of all i had to take this half inch tubing that is uh that is an either end of root beer here yeah and i had to carefully section an eight foot stretch of it or however long i decided to buy um, from from my metal supplier and i had to take the grinder or a jigsaw or something with a very fine kerf and have each piece which was at least an hour for an eight foot stretch so now instead buying the 11 gauge plate now i can just cut my frame out now yes i could cut that angle i suppose but very difficult unless you've got which i do have coming a plasma cutter when i have 220 in this shop and i have my plasma cutter running i will just be cutting these out but for now i am still stuck with cutting out two straight pieces and putting in the double compound curves. Once the plasma cutter is here, I will only have to put in one compound curve. Anyway, whole bunch of technical crap that means probably very little to all of you, but is extremely time consuming when one is building a replica. As you all know, except for root beer, vehicles are for sale. I will make you guys any vehicle you wish to replicate within reason i mean there are certain things that can and can't be done but we can discuss that but my vehicles are for sale um or i should say i take commission work okay so i have used the one inch by half inch rectangle stock and i've cut out two pieces here one piece is going to fit along this side of the chassis it uh, is going to go on the right side of the motor so i have to file it and make it look good okay it's going to go on so and give me enough spacing to for the uh, spur gear to clear the frame rail okay the other one gets welded onto the frame thusly and will bolt directly into the motor thereby mounting it thusly up front gives enough clearance for the motor and uh, a 540 motor because um i can't remember exactly clearance up here i think it's three inches i allowed let me double check that pull out the handy dandy tape here and uh yes i allowed three inches of clearance for the can here 
So that is what I'm going to do next. I spare you all the uh, sparks of the MIG welder as much as I can. Okay. I know it's not fun to watch. So uh, that's why I went ahead and welded the rest of this uh, frame up without a whole lot of sparks for y'all. I just showed a little clip of me starting there and uh, I've gotten this far, but I wanted to show you the uh, new motor mount setup before it goes in. Okay. And I also have a new transfer case mount. Okay. It won't sit here. It needs to be cleaned up some more. It won't sit here. It will actually sit under the chassis. So, okay. Uh, that way it doesn't make too bad of a pinion angle here on the uh, first drive shaft. And it lines up really nicely the front and rear differential for the drive shafts. And, uh, yeah, it just makes a neater, cleaner job all the way around, okay? So, that's uh, where I'm at right now. Got to clean this up, weld it in. Um, I have another one here made for Little Red. Excuse my reach. Hope my arm didn't bother you too much there. But, uh, yeah, I've got a whole bunch of parts that away, sitting on the on the workbench, ready to go here. So let me get these welded in and we will carry on. We'll see how far we can get today. Okay, so as it turns out, um, the brackets I made here are not going to work because, well, I screwed up and uh, I guess they're, they're, a tiny bit crooked. I'll show you what I'm I'm getting at here in a second. Um, these brackets I made for uh, for root beer's gearbox are not going to work out. Um, what it did is I measured a little wrong, I guess, and uh, I have the motor sort of sitting like that when it's in not level the way I intended it to be. So um, I've got to make some new brackets, which I cannot get done and still get this video edited and produced and out to you all. I have to do a bunch of uh, fiddling around here to, to work out exactly how I can, how I can put it all in. The spacer part will work. Okay, but I drilled the holes for this motor to be in that mount, and I'm a little off as it turns out there as well because I'm gonna have to drop the motor a little differently to uh, to get it to mount where I want it. I have to move it slightly ahead and drop it down into the frame with whoops with this spacer. So the spacer is fine. And that spacer is needed, like I said, to ensure that the spur gear doesn't rub on the outside of the frame here, yeah? So, uh, that part of it is all good. Uh, the problem is, here on the left side, I was only going to weld it in anyway, so that's not necessarily a problem. But the problem is, here, I've got to actually make the bracket deeper, so that when I weld it on okay that it's going to it's going to come up high enough because it's going to have to weld on to the bottom so it's got to come up high enough to line up to the holes to mount the left side of the uh the gearbox in so i guess i goofed up um i thought i would have a better better video on root beer than that for you here today i don't unfortunately um but we do have root beer's frame made, and uh, yeah, sorry about that, guys, but that's the way it goes. So we will move on to something a little different, okay?
Okay, so while I didn't get exactly what I wanted to get done here done, I am going to make the new motor mounts. Um, I'm already starting to work on the one. I'm going to change my idea completely. I will, however, be explaining that one in the next video uh, because it's about 2,200 hours right now, Saturday night. I want to get this out to you tomorrow. I missed last week because, well, I had some things. My my screwed up, messed up, dark little mind took me places I shouldn't go because it was Remembrance Day, I think. And, uh, well, so I had some problems, okay? I didn't promise you it was going to be a smooth jump back into this. It's just going to be a jump back into it. So I had a few issues dealing with some stuff and well, I'm beyond that now. So enough of that. Anyway, so I want to get this out for you tomorrow. So I got uh, root beers and braces in here. They're all nicely welded in. They're even ground down and all smooth and all ready to, to, to rock. Um, she does have her transfer case mount. Okay, transfer case is not going to get bolted in right now because I want to do some more welding on the frame, obviously. I just lost my light, and uh, it's going to be very cool, I promise you, but it's going to come in the next video. Now, I didn't get a chance to clean her all up nice and neat and easy peasy. Uh, she's still got a lot of slag and crap and corruption on her, but root uh, Little Red's chassis is done except for sliders which i have yet to design bar work i have yet to design that is going to come later the only piece i have left to weld is two of these these are going to be magnetic body mounts one front one rear of course um, these ones are super tall because these are actually both mounts in one as far as the 3 8 round stock and i have just got a piece of uh inch and a half by uh three inch 1 8 flat stock i'm just going to weld a piece of that so on either end i've already got the magnets mounted to little red and they are the uh neodymium magnets so they're super strong i think it's going to be sufficient to hold her body on okay that's my thinking if not i'll deal with it anyway she has now got her winch mounted on i don't know if you can see that on both cameras or just the one anyway she had her winch before she now has custom bumpers um she's still a little bit warm i gotta slide these out of the way I want to lift this up for you to show y'all. Give me just a second here. So the front bumper just happens to be a piece of that one inch by half inch rectangular stock. I welded it onto the front frame rails, mounted uh, the winch onto that with a stinger bumper that Little Red had on before that I made her a couple of years back. Um, the winch was already mounted on that, so I thought, oh, what the hell? There's no point redrilling holes because I have a different plan for this space back here anyway. Uh, I have her pre drilled for two lights on either side of her front bumper and uh, right there. And she's angled back on both sides ever so slightly on a uh, three degree three degree angle and i just gotta clean up the welding slag and shit like that here's the one i really want to show you though this is root beers or er, root beer this is little red's motor or well it's a it's a i forget what they call it now it's a reverse helical gearbox and transfer case all in one so 
Um, I've never tried it out. I've owned it forever. I can't even remember when I bought this thing. I remember when I got it. It was years ago, but at the time, it was just brutal expensive. Um, I never even had a project in mind for, well, he's going in little red. So I have made her, her mounts here. This is the uh, front motor mount. She'll get a bolt, uh, screw through the side. Pardon me. She'll get a screw through this side. She gets screwed down here on this little pin. I can show you better on this camera right there uh, in between my fingers. And then she has her transfer case mount. I dished it out in the center to handle this little indentation here. And that way, I have welded it to the bottom of the frame to keep everything nice and level, but weight down low. And she will sit in just like so. I welded her uh, battery holder right behind it, right about where the, rear, the back of the rear seats would go. So if I want, depending on the battery I use, I can actually disguise the battery mount as rear seats. Uh, I keep saying, here's the other deal on Little Red that I think is pretty cool. I'm going to wipe off some of this schmutz. It's just welding schmutz from the, uh, from the flux in the flux core MIG wire. Anyway, so, oh. So this is her rear bumper. I'll show you something else about her uh, her motor transmit uh, motor and transfer case mount in a sec. What I've done is I basically welded a three eighths bolt to the bottom of some of the uh, one inch by half inch rectangular stock. This is her rear bumper, and that way I can mount a trailer hitch into her. And I have also created a step bumper in it so i i'm going to fill this in with uh, some weld i just gotta find a few pieces of scrap steel i'm gonna weld this in and she will have a pretty darn sexy looking step bumper on the back and of course there we have it so little red is all but done a few little touch-up things i can do along the way which will take all of maybe another hour and then some cleanup repaint the frame and when i get my um, powder coating system up and running again after i get my 220 installed into the shop here finally then i can weld like mad but i can also run my powder coating system again and it's going to be dual voltage so i won't blow it up and little red root beer uh klondike klondike sister yukon which is another project coming up will all get powder coated frames that i think is going to make rob that owns root beer super excited and it should because that is going to make that chassis absolutely indestructible it's going to make little red's chassis indestructible and we can do it in a myriad of colors. So Root Beer's chassis is going to get painted the same color as her body. Yeah, her matching chassis colors. That ought to be terribly sexy, in my opinion. Point being is, I think I have taken pretty much every complaint that everybody has about crawlers, or as much as I can, have taken every one of the complaints about things hanging up, things being too low, things getting caught, etc., etc., etc. I've taken all of that into consideration, and I think possibly I have designed my best chassis yet. And it all started out with a little red. So uh, I did not, however, include the shock hoops in the chassis. I do not like this. I think it looks ugly and I am going to do some super sexy shock hoops for root beer. Um, Rob is literally going to have one of the sexiest crawlers out there. 
I guarantee you. Anyway, that's as far as we're going to get done today. Or I hope you like the video, guys and girls. If you did, please smash that like button if you haven't already. And clearly, many of you have not. Please subscribe. And share the video if you like it. And if you are so inclined, you can email me yycdesigns at gmail.com to discuss commissioning your own crawler from me. And uh, I will be build you a replica like root beer, like Dodgezilla. And last but not least, there is a lot of technical information that is going to come up on how I build the chassis, how I do all of this on my Patreon channel, which is YYC is Patreon slash YYC Designs RC. Head on over there, support me on Patreon. Link in the description below. Okay. And, uh, yeah, there's going to be some videos coming up on Patreon here by the end of this month. Discussing a bunch of things. Um, and I will show you as we go as much as I can the welding portion of it. I don't want to be just showing you a bunch of video with blinding sh stuff on it from me welding. I want to actually go through what kind of welding I use, where I set my heat temps, all of that stuff is going to be uh, exclusively on Patreon. So if you're into that, if that's what you dig is the technical aspect of making your own chassis, head on over to Patreon, support me and my channel, and support projects like Little Red, like Root Beer, and so on. Okay, enough of my yapping. That's it, guys and girls. I hope everybody got through Remembrance Day slash Veterans Day for my American brother and sisters. I hope you got through it all right. And uh, I hope the guys that suffer, guys and girls that suffer PTSD did not suffer too badly. And uh, yeah, enjoy what's left of the weekend by the time you're seeing this. Have a good week coming up and we will see you in the next video. Take care, guys and girls.